Hello YouTube. This is a tutorial I made about installing solenoid valves to a dual torch combo. It can also be used for torches with a center fire and an outer fire. I'd like to thank Timia Glass for giving me all the necessary details for completing this project. These valves are manufactured by a company named STC and can be ordered on the internet. The STC site will offer you a confusing amount of products, so I do advise you to consult their support. The most important parameters are the voltage of the system and uh, its uh, compatibility with oxygen. And then there's the uh, size of the threading for your tubing. This is the bill I got, uh, including shipping uh, inside the US. This is what the uh, valves look like when they arrive by mail. You get two boxes, each containing one valve. Each element will have a sticker on it stating its exact model, so make sure this is exactly what you ordered. And then you can take it apart according to the instructions that came with the box. Better yet, use the PDF that's on the STC site, it's much more inclusive. This is a cross section taken from a PDF I found on their site which clearly shows there is a difference between the in port and the out port and you must never confuse those when you put this uh, system together. This is what the in port looks like, it has a flat bottom and the out port has this groove drilled at the bottom. Since the main body is made of stainless steel and I used uh, brass fittings I was told to use uh, Teflon because of the different expansion rate of the two kinds of metal. The threadings in both elements are exactly the same, there is no reverse threading for the gas element. At the flat part of each element you will find threaded holes for you to use for mounting. Notice that you can rotate the electrical part uh, whichever way you want. Don't forget to put the electric cable through the plastic casing and then consult your instructions as to where to connect the wires. This is what the system should look like before installing it to the torch. The round object at the bottom is a regular foot switch from a standing lamp. And I used a plain plastic box to protect the splitting of the cables at the middle. Whichever foot switch you choose to use, make sure it's not a dimmer and that it's plain on off. The kind of switch that you only have to press once to turn it on, not the kind that you have to put your foot on it constantly just to keep it running. Now if your foot switch is light just like mine, make sure it's connected to something heavy so it just doesn't dangle around going wherever it wants. If it moves around you'll never find it exactly when you need it. And the last thing you want is to look for it under the table while your eyes should be on your glass. Make sure you position the foot switch, not at the exact location where your foot usually is, but uh, just nearby, so you don't have to change your work posture. That's about it. If you have any technical questions, feel free to contact me and uh, please comment.